Hi and welcome to the 2017 Paper 1 Junior Cert Higher Level Question 6. As always, you should try the question in advance. So, um, sets are notorious for being tricky. Um, reading the question multiple times will help. I remember one time being caught on a question and I could not for the life of me figure out what I was doing wrong until I read it back that, that, that evening or something and I realized I'd missed one word. The word only changed everything. And up to that point, I was getting the wrong answer. Couldn't, you know, doing the right thing, getting the wrong answer. And sometimes it's what you have to fall back on, okay? Uh, if you're doing the right thing, you'll get good marks. For example, here you'll see there's a 15C breakdown. Uh, look, if you're not good at sets, you should be looking for the 11 here. So any decent effort here, fitting in the obvious things, would we'll probably get you the 11. Now we look at the marks scheme after to make sure of that. But let's get stuck in. So each of the students in the sixth year in a particular school have WhatsApp, Instagram, or Snapchat, whatever they are. Uh, joke. The number of who have each app are as follows. 36 students have WhatsApp. 40 students have Instagram. 54 students have Snapchat. Now, you can look at that as, that, that's going to come in handy in a minute, okay? We need to fill in some more information before that makes sense because some of those students who have WhatsApp will also have Instagram, also maybe have Snapchat. Now, 14 students have WhatsApp and Instagram, okay? I'm going to put that 14 in there. Okay. Some of them might get taken away by those who also have Snapchat. Uh, 24 students have Instagram and Snapchat. So it's 24 there, if I believe. Okay. Now try to be clear in your writing. Okay. Just, um, so the X is students who have WhatsApp and Snapchat, but not Instagram. So you have WhatsApp and Snapchat. So that's this one here, X. Okay, now eight students have all three. Now, if I read this right, okay, 14 students have WhatsApp and Instagram, but eight of those 14 are taken up with this uh, by having all three. So you take them away, that's 14, take away eight is um, six. Uh, 24, take away the eight here, would give me 16. Excuse my bad writing. Okay, don't do what I do. If you look back now at the bigger picture, 36 students have WhatsApp. Now, that's basically uh, 26. Okay, take away X. Take away 8. Sorry, 6. Okay. Well, and take away 8, sorry. Now, sorry, just for clarity. Um... Should we get rid of this thing here and put it in properly. So that was a uh, six. Now, if you do the calculation there, the 36 take away six is 30, take away eight is 22 minus x is what's important. Okay. Now, from the Instagram point of view, uh, there was 40 here in total, but you're taking away six and taking away eight. And you're taking away the 16 here. So that should be uh, 6 is 40, it's 30. Okay, so 40 take away 30 is, let me just show the calculation. Even though I don't have um equals the 10. Then the last one, okay, you have the Snapchat is 54. And you're taking away the X here, you're taking away the 8 in the middle, and you're taking away the 16 as well. So that should come out to be 30, 30 minus X. Now hopefully you haven't messed up in the calculations there. I should use the calculator just to double check. Now, it's a bit messy, but that's sure what the answer is here. Okay, so 22 minus X. And you have the x, the 6, the 8, 16, and then 30 minus x, and the 10 here. So that's, yeah, that's exactly what we have. So that's it filled in. Um, there's a bit of rough on the bottom to mess around, okay, with some of those calculations to keep this clean. It's a bit squashed in terms of the diagram, the way the, uh, the editing for fitting it in the diagram. But I hope you get the picture, okay? Now, there's no substitute with sets questions for the practice of them, okay? So the more you've practiced these type of questions, the easier they get. It's very formulaic once you get to a point where you, you've done enough of them. And then you, should, you can do them very successfully.
Now, this next question here, okay, there are 80 students in total in sixth year in the school. Find the value of x. Now, basically, your universal set, which is a box where they call it everybody in here, equals 80. Okay, so we're going to add all them together. Okay, so 22 minus x plus the x in the middle, the 8 and 6 in the middle, the 10 and the 16, look at the 16 and then 3 minus x. So if everything there, I'm adding, kind of, you know, going around in the circle, okay? So <clears throat> that's uh, equal to the 80. Now add your numbers, I got 92, okay? Add your x's, minus x plus x cancels, they're gone. You're left with the minus x here, so 92 minus x equals 80. You bring the x across, because positive going across the equal. The 80 becomes negative coming across the equal. So basically they're changing operators. 92 take away 80 is 12, and the x is, x is equal to 12. Okay. Now, that's that. So now part C here, okay, this is a very typical project math style question. Um, trying to test you understand, like, in a deeper level. There's no calculations necessarily here. Uh, it's just can you read off what this is. So it's very tricky. Okay, I, you know, it's a different way of approaching things. That if you're not careful and you don't actually understand what's going on, you're going to you know, make a mess of it, okay? Um, there's 15D here. Now, if you looked at the marking scheme we had there, that's the marking scheme from the first thing, okay? So if you had no parts of eight, if you had two things correct, two of those parts correct, um, you got the eight, okay? And that should be gettable by getting even those two things in the middle. Four regions correct, you got the 11, okay? And obviously, fully correct is, is all of them. That's part B, it was pretty hand handy. Okay, or 5B. Now, part C here, okay, the, again, this is the answers, okay, but there's a big scale going on here. So if you have two correct, you get nine, three correct, you get 12, full correct, you get 15. So you can, if you get one, you, you get max, okay, you get seven max. That's almost half of the, the total max. Okay, so happy days in a way. If I go back here now, so, if, um, 8 equals the number of uh, WhatsApp intersected with Instagram intersected with um, uh, Snapchat. Okay, so let's just say that. Number of people common to all three sets, or you could say 8 students use all three apps. Okay, so that's, you know, I think it's taken from the right scheme, is it? Yeah, okay. Um, now, statement 2, 24 equals the number of um, is people who use Instagram intersect with those who use Snapchat. Okay. Now, I've basically said that to try and get across this point. 24 students, the number 24, have Instagram and Snapchat intersection. Okay, common to both. Now, statement three, 10 equals the number of uh, those who like Instagram, less than or take away uh, those who uh, like WhatsApp combined with those who like Snapchat. Okay, so, it's be fairly okay. Statement four, more students have Snapchat than WhatsApp. Okay, so the number of Snapchat users is greater than the number of WhatsApp users. Now, to be honest, when I did this question, for some of them, it wouldn't be a way we'd know, I, well, I'd normally have looked at, at sets, uh, you, across and across the English. For non-native speakers, it's going to be very tricky. Uh, but even for fluent native speakers, it's hard to, to change between mathematics and notation. And it may be one that caught people unprepared that year. But I suppose this is a chance to practice it. And if you know what the different terminologies mean, if you don't, you need to look it up. Okay, yeah, and they have to commit them to memory. And again, with practice, these things become much easier. Okay, so that should be the end of question six. Thank you, and see you again.